Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking a look at one of the most unique wallets I have ever reviewed on this channel. It's the Camino Slim Bifold Wallet. Let's check it out. So let's give you guys a nice close up of the Camino Slim Bifold Wallet. And while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the features. So Camino Wallet uses the art of origami to form this Slim Bifold Wallet. It's made from folded Cordoba paper, which is a latex laced washable paper fabric. And what's really cool about it, there's absolutely no adhesives or stitching. It's all held together by its folds and this single snap button. It can hold about eight credit cards, 20 bills, and it can even hold coins. And it comes in two different sizes. It's all based on what size currency you use. And it's also available in three different colors, cream white, tan, and the color that I have here, dark brown. And this slim bifold from Camino Wallets is completely eco-friendly, meaning they don't use any animal parts of any kind, and you can recycle this as paper. So that's enough of the quick features. Let's talk dimensions. So I have the medium slim bifold here, and the medium comes in at 3.14 inches by 3.7 inches. The large is slightly bigger at 3.38 inches by 3.7 inches. And according to my weight test, it comes in at 1.4 ounces. That's 38 grams. All right, so let's talk about this Camino Slim Bifold for a second. This thing is extremely minimal. I mean, check out how thin this is with nothing in it. So let's take a quick measurement how thin this wallet is. And it comes in at 0.42 inches. And I said this is one of the most unique wallets I've ever reviewed on this channel. And I wasn't lying. I am really unfamiliar with Cordoba paper, but on the website here, it describes it as uh, similar to what you find on the label of a pair of jeans. So it's not exactly paper. This is extremely highly tear and water resistant. And just check this thing out for a second. It's completely made by folding this Cordoba paper into forming a wallet. Yes, they use the art form of origami to form this wallet and it is absolutely brilliant. And on top of that, this wallet is machine washable and is completely recyclable as paper. So for whatever reason, if this has to be tossed in the garbage, you don't toss it in the garbage, you toss it in the recycling bin. And when I first ordered this, it took a little bit, about three weeks to fly in from Japan. But when it arrived, I was checking it out and I was just blown away by the actual craftsmanship of this thing. I mean, check this out. All you had to do is lift up on this little section right here and that's where you stick your credit cards. And it just slips right back into position once you push down on this side of the wallet. And then behind there is where you can store your coins. And then just like a traditional bifold, your billfold is right dead center there. But then we have these two little folds right here where you can stick your bills. Because this part right here is completely see-through, so if you would put your bills in there without those folds, they'll just fall right out. And if I give you another angle here, this is where you stick the bills, and there's actually another spot right here, a little slot for maybe more bills or a card. I have no idea. And then on the back of the wallet here, we have a quick access credit card slot right there. So I can just keep talking about this wallet all day, but let's start stuffing some cards in here. So let's start with the quick access card slot right there. So I'll start with one of my flat demo cards. And as you can see, it doesn't go in completely. You're gonna have a little bit sticking out over the top right there, which is fine because then you can easily just grab your card when you need it. And this is the spot where I would absolutely keep my most used credit card right here in the back. And now let's take a look at the credit card spot on the inside. So it's this little piece that I showed you earlier. So you can either lift up like this or just pull it out as so. But if you pull it out too much, you can see it just comes right out. But don't panic, just goes right back into place perfectly fine. So I'll take five more flat cards right here. I'll lift up this little fold and stick it in there as so. And okay. There we go. So I'm not really sure if this little fold right here is meant to get tucked back in there. Um, I guess it'll work either way. Once this wallet is closed, either way, your cards have no danger of falling out. But that's only six cards, so I'll put one more in the quick access card slot in the back, and then let's put one more on the inside here. And that's our total of eight. So let's snap it up, and it's about how thick it is with eight cards in there. So I'll do one more measurement with eight cards in there and it comes in at 0 0.656 inches, which is still extremely thin. I mean, we have eight cards in here and it's just over a half inch thick. So now let's check out the coin carrying capabilities of this. So right where the credit cards go, right behind it, 
it's a little pocket. So I have four American quarters right here. I'm just gonna slip those right in there and get in there. All right, there we go. And now if you notice right down here by the snap, there's this little fold. Now that's there for a reason. So when you wanna get your coins out, you just tip your wallet forward, <laughs> give it a little shake and it acts as a little coin catcher. So that's only two. Where are my other two coins? Oh, there we go. So I really like the thought behind this coin pocket here. We have these two folds that act as a funnel and then the fold on the bottom that acts as a coin catcher. I love it. So I think this is an absolutely great idea for a coin pocket. All right, so let's get to the bills. I have a few American bills right here. And as I mentioned before, this is the 3.14 inch wallet, which is 80 millimeters. If your local currency is larger than American bills here, you have to go with the large wallet, which is 86 millimeters, 3.38 inches. So just open this up and stuff these bills in here. See how easy it is. Oh yeah. Not a problem at all. So you can see the great design here with these little folds that hold your bills into place. I think it's fantastic. And like I said earlier, there's another little fold right here that forms another slot. So I'm guessing that could hold another credit card in there. Uh, maybe not. So what about sideways? Actually, yeah, that would work. So this looks like another spot for a credit card. Not the most convenient spot for a credit card, but it's still another spot to store a card. And I just wanna mention before, I made it look a little more difficult getting these cards in this card slot right here. I took this whole thing right out, but basically just lift up this little fold and stick your cards in at once. I made it look more difficult than it needs to be, but it's actually pretty easy getting your cards in and out of that little slot. And keep in mind, I only have two bills in here and they claim that this can hold up to 20. I don't have 20 bills on me right now, so we're just gonna have to roll with the two. Let's snap that up and Nice little package here. All right, so let's go over what I like about the Camino Slim Bifold. If you're looking for a completely unique, slim, minimalist, and practical wallet, this might be for you. And I say unique because every wallet that I own is either made of metal, aluminum, carbon fiber, or leather. I've never had a wallet made of Cordoba paper before. And I love the fact that there's no adhesive or stitching at all. It's completely assembled by cutting and folding that Cordoba paper and held together with this single snap button right there. I like the fact that it has a full bill fold here so you don't have to worry about folding your bills into quarters, halves, or thirds. And I like the fact that they added a quick access card slot right here on the back. And also this might be one of the coolest coin pockets I have ever seen. Just everything about this wallet is super unique. And let's talk about the price. I paid $48.90 for this so I think at $48.90 that's a steal for this thing. Yes, I waited about three weeks to get it, but I think it was completely worth it. And now let's talk about what I don't like about the Camino Slim Bifold wallet. Well, the main thing is I have no experience with the durability or longevity of this Cordoba paper, especially with daily use, pulling it out of your pocket and putting it back in all the time. So that really isn't a negative, but it's just a concern that I have. Other than that, I have absolutely no other negatives about this wallet. So would I recommend the Camino Slim Bifold wallet? Absolutely. As I said before, if you're looking for something absolutely unique and a conversation starter, this wallet is for you. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Camino Slim Bifold Wallet? Now, as I said before, I picked this up for about 50 bucks straight from Camino's website. So if you guys want to check it out for yourself, I'll have links below in my description box. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go.